In this video, we'll look at the type of reaction for HNO3 plus BaOH2. This is nitric acid and this is barium hydroxide. The first thing I notice is that I have water out here. So this water here, that's very interesting to me. And then I see I have an ionic compound, we call these salts. So I have salt plus water, that's making me think this is neutralization. If I look at the reactants, I see I have HNO3, nitric acid. So that's going to be an acid. And I can tell it's going to be an acid because I have this H in front. That's usually a clue that you have an acid. For the BaOH2, I see that I have a metal, barium's a metal, bonded to an OH. So this is a hydroxide. So when I have a hydroxide bonded to a metal, that is going to be a base. Acid plus base, giving me salt and water, neutralization. It's helpful if you memorize this table here of common acids. It makes chemistry a lot easier. So I can look down. Here's HNO3, nitric acid. That's an acid. It's actually a strong acid. And then BaOH2, barium hydroxide. That's a base. It's a strong base. So this is useful to have in memory. Let's take a look at a table of common chemical reactions here. This will help us understand a little better. So we have our acid plus base, gives us a salt and water, that's neutralization. And you can see HX, H starts with an H, so that's an acid, and then a metal and a hydroxide, that's your base, and you get a salt and water, neutralization. It's also a double replacement reaction. That's because the barium is changing places with the hydrogen. So now I have barium nitrate, BaNO3 2, and then HOH. HOH, that's H2O. Should probably balance this though for it to make sense. There we go. So it can be classified as two different reactions, neutralization and double displacement. This is Dr. B with the type of reaction for HNO3 plus BaOH2, nitric acid plus barium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.